Hello guys, I'm Daily Fix. Welcome back to EVE Online Part 3. Now I'm currently on my way back to Amar, uh, the trade hub in Amar, because I was actually able to kill off three of my punishers, and I'm actually quite broke. And it terrifies me somewhat. I don't mind losing ships. Uh, I kind of don't want to lose ships because I'm an idiot. Uh, I lost a ship in the abyss uh, I, I tried out T1 and I faced a cruiser first room could do it second room uh, let me just get that thing in there uh, where can I see that history no where the hell is that again it should be here somewhere ah there we go so this is what I lost so far so, uh, this Punisher, you can see that 32 minutes ago, yes, during a recording, I lost another one. Um, the name, oh, there we go, yeah, it was a, I, I don't even know what that is, a strike of Tressa. It, it basically one shot at me, which is uh, not something I enjoyed, and then of course I got potted. Uh, a loyal enslaver and a loyal enslaver. Yes, I actually managed to get myself killed twice because I wasn't paying attention. And I, actually, it's not really true. I was running a hideaway and I wasn't looking. It's a forsaken hideaway. That's just a tiny bit more dangerous because you just start up with four or five cruisers. Uh, not cruisers, um, destroyers. And, um, yeah, they kind of damaged me quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. Not good times, guys. Not good times at all. Um, I know, place. I know. It's something there. Small enduring. Uh, this one's actually for that. Capacity. Uh, get some sh some weapons on that. Uh, get that in the cargo hold. Then a micro warp drive, cannot use the heat sink, small capacitor, yes, small capacitor, yes, and that thing as well. One more weapon, okay. And yeah, for those of you, I I, um, I did do something else though with my money, uh, in my personal assets. Um, there is where are you? The hidden scanning. And I have the hidden data and the hidden relic. Uh, once I group this up and we're actually en route to the location I want to go to. Uh, I'll go over what was going on. So the Imperial Navy. Uh, we're getting 150 DPS while remaining stable. Simulate that with uh, 2600 meters a second. This is when they are really close. Okay. And three kilometers three and a half kilometers to six kilometers that's why i also wanted to get the uh imperial navy microwave because that gives me 10 to 13 kilometers at 74 and you have the ultraviolet which is just a step in between between six and nine for 112 so long range medium range and then where the hell is uh Oh, yeah, this is a simulation, of course. And uh, 150. I think... Hopefully... I can do it. Uh, also, I am indeed an idiot. And I have not insured my ships, which is a mistake. You just get this sh a bit of money back from the hull, not the modules. Yeah, okay. Well, it is what it is, guys. Let us quickly undock. We're heading towards um, what I've deemed my uh, my new home. So we're heading towards that station over there. Uh, why do I call it my home? Let me get my notes. My notes, my notes. Uh, route. We are in the uh, Massint. Constellation or whatever it's pronounced. Let's show that on the map. It is this constellation. It has these two entries. And for the rest, it, it seems to be 
very much a private domain. And I like that because I don't have to compete. Yeah. The other people here that are just doing the same thing that I've been doing. You know, running these sites, doing a bit of scanning, exploration. Um, just, uh, you know, feels like my own personal little, little corner over there. So yeah, that's where we are heading. There is two POSs, player-owned stations, um, where I could potentially in the future just get myself a jump clone. So I don't risk my implants. I currently don't have them. I ended up using the 1 million skill points and everything that I accumulated to get better skills. And I still have 120 days remaining. Uh, especially these are exponentially long, like 9 days, 7 days, 9 days, 9 days. It's a lot. These these are okay. Motion prediction, sharpshooter, target management, that sort of stuff. And a Mark Cruiser. A Mark Cruiser 3. Uh, which we can then go into Battle Cruiser. I, if I had the money, then yeah, I would probably go for a cruiser. Haven't yet decided on, on which one. There is three in my list that I think are interesting. The Arbit Arbitrator, Arbitrator uh, which is basically a drone boat. So that could be cool. We have the Mauler, which has a, a bit of a better tank, uh, can have three small drones. And we have the Omen, that is uh, a bit of in between like these two. It has uh, the capabilities of running five drones, um, but also having skills on the, uh, the medium energy turrets uh, like this one, but not the resist to arm. So, Kind of on the fence, I'll probably end up making a fit for all of them. I would also like to use a destroyer as a bit of a salvaging ship. There is money to be made you, uh, doing uh, running salvage and selling the salvage. So yeah, I quite think that that is an interesting idea. For today, um, before I get off track too much, we are going to be running sites. Uh, clear all waypoints. Go here. Destination. Waypoint. 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 Uh, waypoint. I probably skipped one. That's fine. I'm not going to be running all of them right now. Um, so, while we're en route, I want to show you the fits that I also made. Uh, for the Magnetate, I have a hidden scanning ship, which with the rigs, as well as the rangefinder, as me as an alpha account, I can get up to 85 points. I'm sure when I eventually decide to go Omega, it could be way higher than that because I can use the Tech 2 variant, uh, variation of that. Uh, we have a 3.5 seconds align time, a warp out time, which is... It's quite nice. I do like that. So that's that ship. And then I decided to go with a data analyzer with the rigs. I, and, and of course the uh, cargo container. We have a coercion of 90 and a strength of 25. Which is, you know, it's not, not bad. Not bad at all. The same goes for the relic analyzer as its rigs. To help that and gives the same coercion and strength. There's a lot more expensive modules that I could take, but we're looking at 190 million, and I'm not I'm not going to be investing 190 million into a ship uh, like that. So yeah, we have some money uh, for now because I'm broke. I really am broke. We're going to be doing some combat sites. We're going to do the hideaway, uh, maybe burrow some refugees. I'm going to be dropping in from a bit further in this time. So if I see there's like five destroyers waiting for me, um, I, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to get out as a bloody, bloody P. Let's do it like this. And yes, I'll leave them. I know you can turn them off. Uh, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. But we're kept stable. 
This way uh, you guys can see. And you can actually uh, assist me as well. Uh, some of you guys are absolutely amazing, I'm, I'm sure. And you have fits that push out a lot more damage. Stuff like that. If you do uh, fuel absolutely free. This is the one that killed me, by the way. The Forsaken. Um, feel free to educate me in the fittings. Uh, this is 3, 6... Actually, I think we can just go with this one. Let's go 3, 6 with a... Let's go 5.5. And, and we'll just go this one. Targets. Oh, someone's here. Yeah, he is here. Look at him go. Wait, what kind of ship are you using, mate? Yeah. Alright. Cool. Could you not do the Forsaken one then? So I uh, can actually do something else. Huh? He is a jackdaw? Oh, well, whatever. Okay, next up then. Yeah, this is uh, the Forsaken. I think it's like an unrated site. Definitely need a destroyer for that. So yeah, maybe, maybe should we should go destroyer? Not sure yet. Not sure yet. Anyways, I'm going to be... Um, is that? Looked like there was a fight or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be doing the combat sites. I'll. Uh, I'm not going to show each and every one of them. But look at this. There's an assembly. Did I do an assembly? Yeah, but it kind of killed me. Collection I ran, and the cluster I can run. Or run. So I'm going to be starting with the. Um, can I do burrows? Yes, I can. Is there a refugee in here? Yeah, this is a uh, hidden. These are all like these larger names. So I'm not even going to try doing that. Let's go with the burrow first. Drive Work our way up. Maybe try the assembly. I, I tried this in a, in a with a different fit. An older fit. We could potentially do it. Yeah, we'll start with them and then we'll move over here. Um, what I don't know if do I need to kill these things in order to get my stuff? I'm not sure. Yeah, I was just moving at way way too fast speed to actually hit them I'm contemplating whether or not I should remove the uh, uh, the micro warp drive and just get a afterburner going but it's like sites like these that I, I think could be very interested in um, in going back with a scavenger and just salvage uh, everything. I'll, I'll pick up the loot later. Maybe there's something cool in there. I don't know. Potentially, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a lot of rubbish. Oh, look at that. Some reinforcements also jumped in. Well, they're not going to be able to save him. Which is fine. Uh, we'll just head and deal with the new threats right away. He didn't drop anything, which is uh, a damn shame. Wow, that's really... That was a lot faster than I, uh, I thought it uh, was going to. Maybe I should get closer. What does it say exactly? Optimal range within 3602. So we should probably just make this 2.5. And we'll change this one to 4.5 kilometers. Hey, that uh, appears to have been all of the enemies. Uh, I'm going to be checking out if there is something noteworthy in the... Yeah, uh, I was worried about that. It's going to be junk. <sighs> well, that's... Uh, it's a lot, but it's definitely not exciting. It is a bunch of cra uh, scrap. Yeah, scrap metal. Fine, okay. We'll just, uh, we'll just melt it down. Let's... Uh, is this a new one? New burrow? Let's go. Let's just go to the new burrow then. Active. 
Uh, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll just be a bit more lucky. Yeah, really contemplating the micro warp drive here. It, it the, the speed is great, you know. Getting distance very important, but I think the distance is just not as important as um, as how do you call it again? Um, God damn it. Ah, I hate when my brain does that. Um, this distance is important when you have weapons that have a larger range. And not so much as this. Also, yeah, like, like uh, what I'm looking for uh, from you guys is, is do I need to kill these things? Yes or no? I don't know. I'm not going to be shooting each and every one of those things if I don't know. Now, hopefully, this time, uh, we're just going to be getting uh, better loot. But we'll just see it at the end of this one. Alright, so I don't know if it's going to be better judgment or not. But heading towards an assembly that I ran once. But I had to constantly warp in and out. Which was extremely annoying. I don't like doing that yeah hello this large hollow asteroid would be ideal location for rogue drone hive and apparently it is because i'm warping to one so if i can run this i can remove that and then i know that we have a new drone site we can run and i would like to run these forsaken hideaways as well because yeah it would be so cool if i can and not have to run that would be amazing. Uh, let's switch. What's the, the range on this? I don't know what assembly I did that was difficult, but that one was extremely easy. So I'm slightly confused. I'm still confused about um, the weapon. So I'm going to be... Um, Unloading all of them. That now works. Where's my fit? Yeah, now I can load them. Okay, that is the stupidest thing I've ever had the displeasure of seeing. Let's just, uh, let's just go for, um... Collection, whatever. Alright, well, uh... I'm done with the drones. I... I was contemplating to do the hidden hideaway, but... Oh, God, I would really, really hate myself... If, um... If I mess that up again. Having two kills uh, on, on the hidden hideaway, I just... Yeah, I don't want to have a third on that. Especially not within an hour. Apparently, I've unlocked rewards. Get some money. Very, very welcoming money. <laughs> uh, what do we have over here? Sancha Borrow. Hidden Hideaway. Hidden Hideaway. Sancha Hideaway. We'll just go towards the normal hideaway. Do the Sancha stuff first, then. Uh, I'll probably leave the drones for what they are. I got one commander with the uh, with the hideaway. Maybe we can do the hidden. The hidden hideaway. I I I'm thinking after this site, I'm going to try it. Oh, okay, never mind. There's someone here. In a he is salvaging. Cool. Good for him. Let us warp. 30 kilometers. If I see... The, uh, the same amount of, like, destroyers, I'm warping out immediately. I don't even go to care. What I could have done also is just turn on my micro warp drive and just, just run. And I didn't. So I kind of feel stupid about that right now. There's a cruiser in here. So, yeah... 
Uh, Bureau of assembly. Just go. Quickly get the heck out of here. I do not need to lose another ship. I am very happy that we jumped out. It's great, you know, if I can do them. <laughs> but not, not in this ship. Not in all that is which left of my money. I hate this. I can't turn it off. The only reason I'm here now, shooting another drone, even though I said I wouldn't, is, yeah, because of the hidden hideaways. Oh, I'm going to be ignoring that result, and I'm going to be ignoring that result. Crimson Gauntlet, ignore that. These we can run the rest. There's actually two destroyers in here. Uh, we, I'm going to be turning on the micro warp right for them. Cruisers. Yeah, sure, they're cruisers. Yeah, they're, they're frigates. I don't know how many times I actually uh, said that wrong. Could be quite often. Some shots in with the ultraviolet. Oh, am I going to be stuck again? Oh, that's annoying. Alright, luckily not. Well, I did get something. Okay, guys, so I'm heading back to the station, dropping off the uh, absolutely worthless loot that I have been getting so far. Um, let's put my filters on. Let's go with junk. Yeah, that's a hundred and uh, and sixteen times of junk. Mm. You know, it's fine. Uh, what I said is, is I'm going to be um definitely getting myself a salvage ship. Uh, it's I think it's necessary for me to um to do so. Um, where are you? Battle sh dest uh, destroyer, Amar, and then. Is there anything here that gives me something for salvaging? No, I might as well just go with uh, what I think is cheapest, and it's you. Turn it off again. Uh, which is basically going to be uh, salvager. I don't think I can use two. No, that's Omega. So, one, two, three. I think three, and then like tractor beams. the range on these 20 kilometers that that's not bad what's the difference between the one and the, the two is just for omega and it has 50 uh no that's not true 24 kilometers okay let's do five on three remove that while i'll Quickly continue going. Uh, we do need something to 
help us move. Hopefully, that is going to be a micro warp drive. Because these are quite bulky. So this is just moving at like 1500. Use you. Uh, we do want to get uh, a bit of a battery going. That's a medium battery though. Would that fit? Not really, no. And here we need an armor repairer. Just to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Or maybe not. Well, not sure yet. I'll tinker around just a bit. It's not going to be... Holy crap. What's so damn expensive? The small tractor beams cost 3.3 million? Are you absolutely insane? What the f... That's just stupid. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a... That is very expensive. Request accepted. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll tinker around, but not for 20 billion. That's just too much. Anyways, guys. I appreciate you all for sticking out till this part. Um... Yeah, lost the ship definitely set me back quite a bit. Um, we'll have to run a, a lot of these combat sites. Hopefully do some more exploration. Uh, I'm going to be moving all of my ships into this uh, region. Uh, and, and just see if, uh, if I can make this my actual home. Uh, so yeah, that's it for now. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.